Good morning to all. Today we are going to see dielectric breakdown. First we will see what is dielectric breakdown. When the strength of the electric field applied to the dielectric exceeds a critical value, very large current flows through it. The dielectric loses its insulating property and becomes a conductor. This phenomenon is known as dielectric breakdown. That is, the dielectric material loses its insulating property and becomes a conductor is known as dielectric breakdown. What is dielectric strength? The electric field strength at which dielectric breakdown occurs is known as dielectric strength. Now we will see the types of dielectric breakdowns. Intrinsic breakdown and avalanche breakdown, thermal breakdown, chemical and electrochemical breakdown, discharge breakdown and defect breakdown are the types of dielectric breakdowns. First intrinsic breakdown. In this breakdown, the dielectric material, the charge displacement increases with increasing the electric field strength. Beyond the critical value of electric field strength, there is an electrical breakdown due to physical deterioration in the dielectric material. The applied electric field is large. Some of the electrons in the valence band cross over the conduction band across the large forbidden energy gap. So, they become conduction electrons producing large current. Next, we will see avalanche breakdown. The conduction electrons are accelerated to very high velocity and energy on further application of electric field. The conduction electrons collide with valence electrons in the covalent bond and they transfer their energy to valence electrons. The valence electrons on acquiring this energy jump from the valence band to the conduction band. So this process continues as more and more valence electrons jump to the conduction band by breaking the covalent bond. So the large current flows through the dielectric and breakdown occurs. This type of breakdown is called avalanche breakdown. Next we will see thermal breakdown. When an electric field is applied to a dielectric material, some amount of heat is produced. This heat must be dissipated from the material. But in same cases, the amount of heat produced is very large as compared to that heat dissipated. Due to this excess of heat, the temperature inside the dielectric increases and may produce a local melting in the dielectric material. During this process, a large amount of current flows through the material and cause the dielectric breakdown. This type of breakdown is known as thermal breakdown. Next, we will see chemical and electrochemical breakdown. Electrochemical breakdown is similar to thermal breakdown. When the temperature of the dielectric material increases, mobility of iron increases and hence the electrochemical reaction may take place. This leads to leakage current and the energy loose in the material and finally dielectric breakdown occurs. This type of breakdown is known as chemical and electrochemical breakdown. Next one is discharge breakdown. Discharge breakdown occurs when a dielectric contains oculated gas bubbles within the material. When this type of dielectric is subjected to electric field, the gases present in the material will easily ionize and this produce large ionization current. The gaseous ions bombard to the solid dielectric. This causes the electrical deterioration and leads to dielectric breakdown. This is known as discharge breakdown. Next we will see defect breakdown. The surface of dielectric material may have defects such as cracks, porosity and blow holes. These are all due to impurities like dust or moisture which collect as at the discontinuous that is defects. This will lead to the breakdown in dielectric material. What are the remedies for dielectric breakdown? To avoid this breakdown, the insulating material should have the following properties. It should have high resistivity, high dielectric strength, small dielectric loss and have sufficient mechanical strength. 
it also should have resistant to oils liquids gas fumes acids and alkalis it should be fire proof with this we are concluding this dielectric breakdown with different types and the final remedies thank you